Hi, I'm White Buffalo Man of the Woden Rose Clan and what I'm going to show you now is how to make um, an obsidian inner lining for a tower. It could also be in a, the main wall, it could be anything, it's just left to your imagination. But to move things on, first of all I'm going to build the inner core. It's basically a moulding system. Now what you're going to do need for this it's, is a quantity of lava, a, a supply of water, and patience. Now this is great if you haven't got a diamond pick. Um, as we know diamonds are rare. I never seem to find many. Other people find them by the ton. But I'm not one. For all of us who can't find the right diamond, or enough diamonds, this is it. Right, that's the inner core. Right, now I'm going to build the outer section of wall. And you'll see why. It basically, it's like a sandwich. The lava forms the filling of the sandwich. And the um, sand here forms the outer. Well, bread, I guess. If you want to eat there. That reminds me, you know, when I was a kid, I used to go to the beach a lot. And I always used to end up eating sand and lettuce sandwiches. I don't, you know, I don't know why anybody takes sandwiches to the beach. But uh, I grew up on sand and lettuce sandwiches, living next to the seaside. Um, lucky I didn't be eating like sandpaper sometimes, I guess. All right, here we go. Right, now I'm just making making some stops. Right, now, this is in creative, so it makes it all the easier. But you will have to find a supply of lava. I think I never find too difficult. Because the stuff seems to follow me around. Every time I go underground, I have lava dropping on me. So, um, here we go. <coughs> now, bear in mind, this needs to be still lava. If you put the water onto running lava, you'll end up with cobble. Now, that's great if you want cobble, but not so good if you want lava. Now, I'm going to go through a stretch here. Now, this normally doesn't work with me, but it might do today, if we're lucky. And I hope the night stays up. Yes, it has. Right. Now, what we're going to do now is get the water and pour the water into the centre. Well, near enough centre. See where it spreads. Yeah, not too bad. Okay, so now we pick the water up, for obvious reasons. And we do it again over here. Now, this is the first layer. Now, of course, I'll have to, you'd have to um, fill in the gaps, but I'll do that. I mean, I could, seeing it's creative, I could use um, pre-made lava, for want of a better term. But I shan't. What I shall do is use lava, because this is how you'd have to do it for real. Um, I normally play in survive, um, survival only. Um, nothing wrong with creative. I've built several worlds in creative. But you don't get the, f the real benefit, I don't think. Well the, the, well, the satisfaction would be the better word. I mean, if you build something in survival, you know you've done it with your own graft. Or as much as you can with a computer, anyway. Here we go. This hopefully is among the last of the spreadings of water. Um, the reason why I'm talking now is because I've been told on my other video there was no voice. Well, I say I like the solace of my silence, actually. But for all you noise um, fanatics, you can hear me. Which I find quite surprising, really, because most people tend to tell me to shut up. I'll take advantage of it. I don't mind. I'm not proud. Here we go. The last one, I hope. Well, it will be for now. Oh, two more to go. Oh, right. Right, here we go. Right, one. Oh, you can't move. Right, now they've all been covered with water. Yeah. Right, now this forms the base. Now what you could do, if you were clever, you could actually we'll say we're going to have a sandstone base now this is a sandstone frontage of our tower all right so you could do this first and you'd be fine you'd save a bit of time but that'll do now to save time what we'll do we'll go on to one i prepared earlier but this is an example so you line again a second level as you did the first
Come around here. Oops. Right, there we go. I'll just do part of it because I'll show you why in a minute. Right, so, here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four. If I run out of things to say, I can always sing to you. So, hope I don't run out of things to say. <laughs> right, here we go. Right, now, I'm drowning. Right, here we go. Oops, the daisies. Now, it could go better, couldn't it? But that's the advantage of doing it live without rehearsal. Right, down goes the water. Now, this gives us, peel this away again, carefully, this gives us our second layer. Now, the reason why I like building in layers is because um, a creeper's blast normally goes up two or three and down an equal amount. Um, this won't save the front of the wall from being blown off, but it will save what's inside. Um, right, so we'll say we've done the wall now. Right, now we'll come over to over here. One I've prepared earlier. Now, this is the second level. Oh, <coughs> there's a bed in case it gets dark. <coughs> right, this is the second level. I'll spread it out. Pick it up. Oh, there's only one left. Look at that. You always get one. Spread it out. Pick it up. Now, this is two stories high, all right? Now, I'm going to cheat. It's in creative. And I'm going to fill the gaps in. And I'm going to build a third level of obsidian blocks. Now, you can do this another way. And I'll show you this right now, actually. Now, if we come over here, again, it involves lava. One, two, three, four, five, six, all right? Or any size that you get it to stop it flowing. But, you know, um, we'll do this. Fill a pit, basically. Right there, that's stationary. Get your water. Pour the water over the pit. Pick up the water, if you're lucky. I'm only doing this to be authentic. I mean, you know, obviously there's... It's a... It's creative, so let's create, as they say. You needn't worry, kids, I'm not a purple dinosaur. Uh, here we go. Um, there. Now, that will give you three layers of, um, protect, of protection inside. Now, I'll show you why in um, tutorial two, where I get to actually blow things up. So that's about it for now. Um, I'll be back with you directly and uh, we'll now pop over to the second part of the tutorial. I love blowing things up. Right, I'll speak to you.